That you would you fair I need it say for twelve months and one day You're to welcome my brisk young bride that I bring over the May. It's Today we're here with, with uh, Emily Portman and with uh, obviously with Martin Simpson and we just recorded a beautiful song called Fair Annie. And uh, what is this? Can you tell us what the song means to you? Yeah. Um, I love Fair Annie. Um, I first heard Martin sing it, actually, <laughs> and I remember listening to that album and that song in particular on repeat, and I think it's a really, um, it's a beautiful song. It's got a really uplifting ending. It's a really brutal song, but it, it has, it is about sisterhood to me. It's yeah. about that rear, that discovery of sisterhood and the rising up against Adversity against uh, against patriarchy against yeah, this really horrible against guy Lord brutality. Thomas brutality yeah and how um, they are able to find agency in that situation I find that really moving to sing it um, okay. uh, isn't that gorgeous that those all those songs are not just about one particular setting but they're about archetypes they're about human conflicts that are thousands of years old and totally transcend culture and and origin and, and, and all of those things. It's people. It's about people. It's about people. And I think what I find really special about these, um, this version in particular, I love the fact it, it almost feels like we know that those movements of the songs happen from from here, you know, in, in England to, to um, over the water. And I really love in a way that I've I'm being allowed to take it back. Exactly that. <laughs> and then it will go, you know, it moves. And it's, 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 it's been moving for hundreds of years. These stories have been moving. And I, I really love that. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been given permission. And I actually sing another version of this song, um, of Fair Annie, called Rosanna. And I was looking up the history of that song. And apparently it was... Um, collected out in America, but her grandfather had learnt it in Leeds. Yeah. So it really, you know, it's great to actually see that these songs really do make Hedy West sense. did a version of that um, called Rosanna uh, on the, the topic record of matching ballads, which never came out tragically because mm. it has some phenomenal Hedy West stuff on it. Mm. And, and I was just thinking this morning when I was thinking about this song, the way, the way Hedy sings Rosanna is spectacular. The way she sings, everything's spectacular. But I, I think one of the great things about this particular version of the ballad is that it it's distilled. But it's just some occasionally, you know, some of these songs you struggle to to find what they're really about in the first place. I mean, they just are so reduced. Mm -hmm. This is in no way, I think. Mm -hmm. Reduced emotionally, and yeah, and it, I love that about it. I love the word distilled as well. Good it word. is because it, it's kind of it's got the essentials yeah. there, um, and it is a big tale. And when you know that that there are some of the Scottish versions that are huge, oh. and they've got a rich backstory, yeah. and you were very, I was very <coughs> tempted, I think, to um, to take them all in and you know add yeah. it, beef it out. But actually, it was a really wonderful exercise to. Think how little can I put in hmm. here to? Well, to one of the one of the things sense. that I've always loved about what you do is that you you know exactly how to take, in some cases, the remnants of an old song, and just go and polish it and make hmm. it really, really, really relatable. I think. Hmm. I love what you said about taking the song back because I think something that I often think about is who owns this music because we're talking so much about cultural appropriation and things like that and it's I think the answer is everybody owns yeah, this music. should be the people who brought it over there the people who sang it over there and we own it too and that's why we can do with it what we want as long as we yeah. do it respectfully you know? absolutely and I think I think it's just that I I'm always a little bit reticent about singing an American ballad because I don't feel it's <laughs> Um, well, you just proved that you shouldn't <laughs> feel reticent. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe I'll change. Maybe I'll, I'll give myself permission. Welcome. 